ready? And one, two, three. One, two, three.
guys for the bag. I was a boat stuck in a bottle that never got the chance to touch the sea. Just forgot on the shelf, no wind in the sails, going nowhere with no one but me. I was one in a hundred billion, a burnout star in a galaxy. Just lost in the sky, wondering why everyone else shines out for me. But I came to life when I first kissed you. The best me has his arms around you. Can make me better than I was before. Thank God I'm yours. I was a worn out set of shoes. Wandering the city streets. Another face in the crowd, head looking down, lost in the sound of a lonely melody. An empty pocket set of roulette, always landing on a lost bed. I'm here and I'm a fishing today. <laughs> so imagine you go off to college. And many times we think about going to college, we think about education. We never considered that there's a possibility we may meet the love of our lives. But all of a sudden, you're on your dorm floor, and you see him, and he sees you. <laughs> so then conversations begin to happen, and then you find out that you guys were made for one another. And one of the reasons why is because he loves your smile. And you love the fact that he loves to make you smile. And then one day you find yourself in Hawaii <laughs> and there's a sunset. And let me tell you, bro, that's game. To know that you can create this incredible moment that either one of you will never forget where he gets down on his knee on this beautiful Hawaiian sunset to ask you to be his. You know, one of the questions I love to ask couples when I first meet with them is, how did you meet? But eventually that question transitions and it becomes, who did you meet? And we are here celebrating right now because Summer and Nate have found their who. And so on behalf of their families, I wanna take this moment to say thanks to every single one of you for coming and for being a part of this celebration. See, you're all here because of one of two reasons. One, you're here because they wanted to celebrate this moment with you because of the significance that you have to them. Or the other reason is because, well, they thought you'd give a great gift. <laughs> but either way, thank you so much for being a part of this moment. So who gives this woman to be married? To this man. Please be seated. You know, marriage is a blending of hearts, a union of husband and wife, and body, mind, and spirit. It is intended for the mutual joy, for the help and comfort given to one another in prosperity and adversity. Nate and Summer, build your home on a spiritual foundation. Continue to recognize the source of romance, love, and affection, for these are his gifts. And, and this is the part of the ceremony that I always enjoy. One of the things I love to do with every couple whose ceremony I do is I love to I love to just give personal words of encouragement, just based upon what I've observed and what I've seen. And I remember when I was meeting with Summer and Nate and we were walking through the process of planning for today, there's this one point where Summer was talking and Nate turned and he looked at her and I was like, ooh, that boy is smitten. <laughs> 
But one of the things that, that I, I wanted to share with the two of you and, and why I feel so great about your connection, one of the ways you can always tell about the future success of a relationship and of a marriage is based upon the family and the people that they have around them. And I will tell you, you guys must laugh a lot. Because, I mean, just being around yesterday for the wedding rehearsal and just seeing the sheer joy and laughter and true love that you have with your family and they have with you and they have with one another, but also to see the legacy that is there for relationship and success for relationships for the future, that you have that for yourselves. To know that that's going to be the family background that you have, I feel very good about the future of your relationship. And I, I do want to say this, though, that whatever it was that you both did to bring you to this moment, don't ever stop doing. Because that's what happens many times in marriage is we get what I would call love lazy. And we stop doing the things that really bring us to this moment. And all of a sudden, you find yourself with someone that is nothing more than a roommate. So protect your time together. Continue to go out on dates. Continue to laugh together. Continue to go to national parks and check out different places and camp and all those other things that you can do together. Continue to watch shows together. And maybe summer you could even humor him and watch Hamilton <laughs> one, more, one more time. But all of those elements, like I said, that bring you here, that brought you here, that cause you to fall in love with one another, continue to do that. And that, again, will assure the future success that you have in your marriage. Now, some couples that I meet with will either want to write their own vows or they will recite their vows. Both Summer and Nate have decided to do something different today, which I absolutely adore and love. And so usually when couples exchange their vows, I will say, you know what, bring out the tissue. But I'm going to tell you now, bring out the tissue. Because what they're about to do with one another is they're about to express the love that they have for each other. Absolutely beautiful. So with that, they're going to do that together. So Summer's going to share her love for Nate first, and then Nate will share his. I didn't know I was going first. <laughs> Mike's on my. OK. I'm going to have to project. Oh, you can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> OK. okay. Dave, I feel overwhelmingly blessed to be standing beside you today, so close to finally calling you my husband, finally. <laughs> um, when I think back to our first date ever, where you took me to the beach and you wanted me to climb down some rocks and I was so afraid to go down them and you kept begging me to go down them and I just didn't want to. <laughs> In that moment, you knew what you were signing up for <laughs> and you decided you liked me anyways. And from that moment on, I have grown to love you more than I can put into words, but I'm gonna try <laughs> to express them right now to you. Let me start by saying that I love how you make life so much fun. All of our interactions end in laughter, like really, <laughs> even the really serious ones. It is your mission to keep me smiling each day with your silly greetings, your skillfully recited inside jokes, or how you go um num 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 after we kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I also love that you choose to see the best in me when you accept me for all that I am. I love your mind, your adventurous spirit, your athleticism, and your kind heart. You are going to be the best little league coach for our future kids. <laughs> what I love the most about you is how you love me. You show your love through the little things. I know that's a little cliche, but it's, it's really true. <laughs> like you cover me with a blanket when I fall asleep on the couch or you tickle me and call me silly names just so I'll smile, <laughs> or how you comfort me through my many, many breakdowns, <laughs> or my favorite thing you do is how you look at me or squeeze my hand when you know I'm gonna be happy about something we're experiencing. You just look at me, not the thing. Um, you make me feel so safe and secure and beautiful. 
You build me up, you challenge me, you make me laugh so much, even though I tell you you're not funny, you're kind of funny. <laughs> and you, you overall make me a better person. You are my everyday dream come true, and I can't wait for the life we get to build together. Thank you. <laughs> Summer, ever since the first time that I met you, your smile has entranced me. <laughs> I love seeing you smile after being away from you for any amount of time. You have so many unique smiles. Your embarrassed smile when I tell you that you look cute. <laughs> your pride-filled smile when you accomplish something. Your laugh on the off chance that I make a funny joke. <laughs> and your exasperated smirk on the far more likely chance that I make a terrible joke. <laughs> Your half-awake smile when I wake you up with a kiss. And my personal favorite, your content smile when you're sitting on the couch, drinking coffee, watching TV in the morning. <laughs> Besides the smiles that I've already seen, I look forward to all the smiles that I haven't seen yet. Your smile when our kids are born or when they accomplish something important. And your smiles every anniversary when we celebrate our time together as a couple. I want to be with you for all of these smiles. All the moments when you're the happiest, because every time that you smile, I fall in love with you all over again. Like I said, tissue. That was beautiful. Now we're about to have the sharing of the vows. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4 reminds us that love should be honored by all. Now, there is a difference with the commitment that they're making today because it's not a contract, it's a covenant. And here's the difference between the two. A, a contract is when your main focus is on yourself, protecting yourself, taking care of yourself. And you will even breach the contract if it means better taking care of yourself. But a covenant is completely opposite of that. It's the first and foremost commitment is us. That I'm going to look out for us and protect us and watch out for us. And so in exchanging their vows today, what they're saying to one another is, I will share my, my commitment to you. I will share my love, my life to you, that I am committed to you for life. And so, Nate, as you hold the hands of your beloved, please repeat after me. I, Nate. I, Nate. Take you, Summer. Take you, Summer. To be my wife. To be my wife. My friend. My friend. My lover. My lover. And the mother of my children. And the mother of my children. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To comfort and encourage you. To comfort and encourage you. To hold unfailingly support. So, and to, sorry, I'm getting a glare from the sun. I apologize. <laughs> and to unfailingly support your hopes. And to unfailingly support your hopes. Dreams and goals. Dreams and goals. I vow to be there for you always. I vow to be there for you always. When you fall, I will catch you. When you fall, I will catch you. When you cry, I will comfort you. When you cry, I will comfort you. When you laugh, I will share your joy. When you laugh, I will share your joy. With kindness. With kindness. Patience and trust. Patience and trust. I will work by your side. I will work by your side. To create a wonderful life together. To create a wonderful life together. Everything that I am. Everything that I am. And everything that I have, and everything that I have, is yours. Is yours. From this moment forth. From this moment forth. And for our forever. And for all forever. Now, Summer, as you look into the eyes of your love and hold, it, hold his hands, please repeat after me. I, Summer. I, Summer. Take you, Nate. Take you, Nate. To be my friend. To be my friend. My lover. My lover. The father of my children. The father of my children. And my husband. And my husband. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To comfort and encourage you. To comfort and encourage you. And to unfailingly. And to unfailingly. Support your hopes. Support your hopes. Dreams. Dreams. And goals. And goals. I vow to be there. I vow to be there. For you always. For you always. When you fall, I will catch you. When you fall, I will catch you. When you cry, I will comfort you. When you cry, I will comfort you. When you laugh, I will share your joy. When you laugh, I will share your joy. 
with kindness, with kindness, patience, patience, and trust. And trust. I will work by your side. I will work by your side to create a wonderful life together. To create a wonderful life together. Everything that I am. Everything that I am. And everything that I have. And everything that I have is yours. Is yours. From this moment forth. From this moment forth. And to our forever. And to our forever. It's interesting, as we were reading your vows together, and I saw that line, when you fall, I will catch you. I had time after time going through my, you know, the song by Cindy Lauper? When you fall, I will, I had that going through my mind. Though small in size, the rings are very large in significance. Made of precious metal, they remind us that love is neither cheap nor is it common. Made in a circle, they remind us that love is meant to last for eternity. And as you wear your rings, may they be a reminder of the commitment that you're making on this day. The symbol of the wedding ring says, I belong to my husband, I belong to my wife, my passion, my affections, my love, and my heart solely belongs to my spouse. So Nate and Summer, as you wear your rings, may they be a constant reminder of the commitment that you're making today. So Jake, if you can hand me Summer's ring, please. There you go, if you want to place it onto Summer's finger for me. And repeat this after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. In remembrance of this hour. And remember to this hour. A symbol of love. A symbol of love. That is complete. That is complete. Beautiful. Beautiful. And endless. And endless. Can you, if I could have Nate's ring, please? And Summer, if you want to place it onto you. Nate's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. In remembrance of this hour. In remembrance of this hour. A symbol of love. A symbol of love. That is complete. That is complete. Beautiful. Beautiful. And endless. And endless. So until now when you've exchanged your rings and your vows, your lives were completely distinct, able to go in its own way. To bring joy and radiance into your home, remember the commitment that you've made today. The giving of your rings represent the giving of your lives and let your ring be a reminder that your love and that your lives must not be divided, but instead that your marriage should be a testament to the world of commitment, honor, and love. And, and there's a passage that both Summer and Nate asked me to read. And it says, love is patient. First Corinthians chapter 13, verses four through eight, and it says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And one of the things I wanna encourage you guys to do to remind you of the kind of love that you're searching for and that you want to commit to having in your marriage is have this passage as a reminder. But instead of having the word love, put your name in its place. And that will give you an idea of the kind of love that you want to shoot for with one another. In a moment, both Nate and Summer are going to light the unity candle. And we have three candles who are here on the altar, or on this barrel. And Two of the candles on either side represent the blessing of this marriage by each family. The unity candle in the center represents the merging of both families together as one, strong, supportive, and enduring. Both of their moms have actually already lit the outside candles. Now, as a statement of their faith and commitment to their families and to each other, Nate and Summer will take their respective candles. As they join the two flames together over the unity candle, a new flame will be born. The new flame symbolizes the beginning of their own family and bids honor and respect to the families that have brought them here today. When I first kissed you, best me has his arms around you. You make me better than I was before. Thank God I'm yours. The worst me is just a long gone memory. You put a new heartbeat inside of me.
Okay, let us pray. Father, I just want to thank you so much for this family that has been formed today. Grant that their will be so knit together in your will and their spirit in your spirit that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Give them grace when they hurt each other to recognize and acknowledge their own fault and to seek and give each other forgiveness. May Nate and Summer's marriage be such a shining example of grace, mercy, love, and forgiveness that people will easily recognize your presence in their lives. Amen. And now, Nate, the moment that you've been waiting for, you may kiss your bride. They say love to last forever, but they ain't saying us together. I don't know about you guys, but I just felt the heat index rise a little bit after that one. <laughs> if you want to, like, if you want to hand her her flowers back. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Ransom. <laughs> Yes, my love, we are magicians, you and I, and soon you'll see the cloud shapes in our eyes are blind, but the light forever just the same, forever just the same. Oh, you, you've been sleeping in the rough. 
traveling mind Take you by the hand But still I wonder what you You've a pocket full of snuff A meek and mild ragtime child And sometimes wonder why The crowd falls Tremendous amount of noise for Danielle and Adam. She had two, three drinks. Now she's twerking. She throw it out and come back in. That's my best friend. She a real pet. Drop her on car. She don't need no lift in a strip club. Now she twerking. She throw it out and come back in. Ladies and gentlemen, get loud for Tammy and Daniel. I ain't dumb but muff. Is she my tweet of D? If she buy for me, she don't need a key. If you sideways, she straighten you with me to be. And she's so bad that I just can't take that nowhere. She off her fish, I said, mm-mm, don't go there. Break her back, she protect and attack. Get that strap back, then buckle, foot on neck, give no air. Let's hear you down the mountain for Courtney and Kyle. She my day one on my way. That you get drunk and celebrate. Cause be the baddest in the club. That's my best friend. She a real bad Got her own money. She don't need no n- on the dance floor. She had two, three drinks. Now she's twerking. She throw it out and come back in. I love it. I love it. Keep it going for Haley and Trevor. She don't need no lift in a strip club. No, my girl don't tip. Now she twerking. She throw it out and come back in. Best friend. You the baddest and you know it. Uh-oh, girl. I think I booty growing. Last and certainly not least, give me a tremendous amount of noise for our maid of honor and best man, Lincoln and Jake. Family and friends, one more time, give it up for the bridal party. Now, I was just talking to the newlyweds. They told me that this is the loudest bunch of people they've ever gotten together in the same area at the same time. So on the count of three, we're going to pretend like we're inviting them in. You guys got to make a ton of noise. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, make some noise. 
That was pretty good, but we all know that you can do better. Family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, get up on your feet. Ladies and gentlemen, get out of your seat. It is my privilege and my pleasure to invite in and to introduce for the second time, give it up for the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Ransom. I got you. Party, join them on the dance floor. Family and friends, one more time, give it up for the bridal party as well as our newlyweds. We'll invite the bridal party as well as you guys to go ahead and grab your seats. Family and friends, a tremendous amount of noise for the newlyweds.
simplicity Um, if my parents didn't give it away, I'm Summer's um, slightly funnier twin sister. Um, and I might add, Summer, you know I must love you because I'm public speaking for you right now in front of a lot of people. All right, so here we go. Girl. Yeah, that's what we call each other. Only you will get this, but I'll say it anyways. Describing our closeness is quite a challenge. We don't even hug because it's weird. Being literally born with a built-in best friend is an experience that I would never trade for anything. And I feel sorry for people who don't get to experience it. <laughs> She's making me cry. All right. Being one minute older, one minute everyone, you definitely took on that older sister role and you ran with it. Um, I vividly remember us as little girls playing a game called Two Girls. I know, hold the applause for our creative team. Um, I remember us just five years old creating a world full of babies, dreamy husbands, and rolling our shirts up to look older. Sorry, Mom. You made me the boy because you said so. <laughs> to think that I am watching you live out those fantasies in real time strikes a ton of feelings for me. I am just so in awe and happy for you because either you are completely psychic. Um, yeah, she used to pretend to marry a Frisbee player when we <laughs> used to play. Um, or you fought and made your dreams a reality. And I admire that about you. Um, now I could go on and 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 on um, forever about summer. Um, my best friend, sorry Nate. Um, but to put it simply, I just want to thank you for always being the strong one in my times of weakness. Um, <laughs> stop, you're making me cry. Um, and for being by my side, um, even through my vampire phase. <laughs> um, okay, Nate. Um, it takes a lot to come between two sisters with a bond like ours, uh, literally inseparable. You tolerate all those moments when I just, you're, sorry guys, I just look at her tears falling and I can't even talk, okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, um, you tolerate all those moments where I drop by, steal both your food and Summer's attention. Um, it's always really funny when you walk out of the room only to see us cuddled on the couch together uh, while we watch The Bachelor when it's really just an excuse um, to hang, gossip, um, and play on our phones. Um, and it's really cute to watch you kind of try to follow our, what seems like to everybody else and Nate, um, our own language. Um, not going to lie. Uh, at first, I, I didn't really get your humor. Um, and I would, <laughs> back in college, um, and I would yell at Summer about how you would just come over and tickle her and then leave. Um, yes, everyone, they had a tickling thing. Um, <laughs> had. <laughs> Uh, now that I watch you love my sister um, and finally understand your sense of humor, I am proud to be gaining a brother. 
Um, I'll never forget the night I realized you not only loved my sister, but truly understood her. Uh, it was Christmas a couple years ago, and every gift you had her open had some meaning that showed off just how well you knew her. Um, a present called Snack Bay uh, of her favorite snack, or a blanket called Cozy Bay uh, because she's always cold. Uh, I melted with the thought that my sister was so completely loved by you. I know you will take care of her and love her so, 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 so completely. And I'll go on and on and on and on and on and on and forever. About, I'm just kidding. Okay. All right, folks. I promise that, um, that there is an end in sight to this. Um, I just wanted to share that I was blessed to be in the VIP front row seat um, to see their relationship really grow um, back way when we were in college. Uh, let me tell you guys, um, in the beginning, it was pretty romantic. Um, I'll never forget the debating that went on for hours, um, the tickle fights, um, and most importantly, the girl, uh, where are you? Are you dead text? Don't worry. She was just with Nate. Um, watching you love each other is a beautiful thing. Nate, you make Summer stronger, more level-headed, and logical. While Summer, you make Nate more brave, sensitive, and empathetic. You bring out the best in each other, and I love you so very much. <sighs> okay. I can't wait to watch your beautiful life grow. Um, and you know, Nate, I'll always have the front row seat. <laughs> uh, to Summer and Nate. Family and friends, help me in inviting up our next toast. Let's hear it for the best man, Jake. No. Well, maybe. Hello, everyone. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Jake, and for all the time that she took, I'll probably short my own book. So. Uh, I've, uh, I've known Nate for a very long time. We met in Middle school, high school, we can't remember. I, I don't know. I don't remember when I met my fiance, so that tells you anything. <laughs> but we have, we have spent so much time together uh, playing video games, nerding out a lot. <laughs> Call of Duty, Fallout. Uh, he could talk for literally hours on video games. Uh, but he never, one thing I noticed recently was that he never, he never talked a lot about his feelings. But when I saw Nate and Summer, for the first time together, he didn't, he didn't have to say anything. I, I knew it was love from that moment. Cheers to forever. Family and friends, help me in inviting up our next toasters. Let's hear it for Lisa and Chris, the parents of the groom. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, like Jake, we have a story of when we noticed that Nate and Summer were in love. And uh, I think the best way to frame this would be to say, uh, those of you who've been married for a long time or been in a relationship for a long time know that when you agree on things with your significant other, those are the easy times. It's when, you have, when you're totally opposed about how you go, go about things. Uh, those are the trying times. And so... I'm thinking of a time, I don't know, four or five years ago, summer's down in San Diego, and for those of you who don't know, Nate is very competitive and loves board games. Before video games, he loved board games. Uh, and in fact, when he was three years old, he insisted on being the banker in Monopoly <laughs> because A, he was good at math, and B, he didn't want any shenanigans going on with a, he wanted to win. And, and again, just to give you the mindset, if you play a board game in Nate's mind, you're playing to win. Now, other people play board games just to have a good time. Winning doesn't matter so much, Summer. And Nate <laughs> must win. So, so we're playing this board game, and of course, Nate's cutthroat. He's got the rules out. He's calling Summer on it. And the two things I noticed about this were, first, they were bickering like an old married couple. And I'm like, that, this is going to be an old married couple someday. <laughs> 
Uh, the second thing, though, I noticed is that, you know, Summer sort of gave a little to Nate, you know, sort of understood that he wanted to win, and that's what his deal was about, and Nate gave a little towards Summer, which is what, of course, those of you who've been together a long time know that that's how it works. And so that's when I was like, hmm, here we go. This is long before they're engaged. I knew engagement was coming and marriage was coming. And no, 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 wait, 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 no. Wait. Okay, go, go over there. Okay, I'm over here. My turn, because that's not how I saw it at all. So I, on the other hand, enjoy playing board games myself, but I have some compassion for my fellow players and maybe don't play as cutthroat. And... When Nate and Summer first started dating, I was like, gosh, Nate's kind of shy. He's kind of a guy in his shell a little bit. Summer, when you first meet her, is a little shy, a little reserved. I'm like, how are these two going to, you know, they need somebody to get things going. And then we played a board game with them. And this girl's got game. I'm not telling, I'm not kidding. (laughs) She stands her ground. She does not mess. She will call somebody on something if she thinks it's not fair. That girl wants to win. And I'm like, okay, Nate's got a girl who's got her own mind, and she's going to speak that mind and go summer because he's not right all the time. Sorry, Nate. Most of the time. But he will tell you when he is right, and he will insist on it. And she will make sure that he knows, no, he's not. So, old married couple, yeah, kind of, (laughs) right? But what I've watched over the years is these people who separately came across as these reserved, quiet people, together made each other stronger and brought out the confidence and brought out the love and the compassion and the, the thing that you know is right. And so to me, yeah, you better be an old married couple <laughs> because we see it. We see it. We love you. It's Nate and Summer. Cheers. This will be an everlasting love. Family and friends, help me in inviting up our next and final toast. Let's give it up for Nicole and Randy, the parents of the bride. Get ready. About to rock the mic. We're going to rock the mic hard for my no, brothers and grades. it's mine first. Watch out. <laughs> Just wait, kids. I got you, man. Watch. Okay. Summer, Nate. Watch. You've seen nothing there. Okay. I said I was going to wing it because okay. I'm really good at that. Okay. And my friend Susie over there knows I can do that. Okay. Okay. But okay. I figured, well, it's my daughter's wedding. I got to write something down. So I did. <laughs> you said you weren't going to do that. To some, well, sorry. I decided to write it See, down. I told you to write it down. <laughs> what write it down. really is love? Love is friendship that's turned into fireworks. Love is, I can be me, you can be you, we can be us. Love is found when you least expect it. Love is summer and Nate. Every mom wants her daughter to be Cinderella and find her prince. Today, I am blessed that my little girl, who was asked, what do you want to be when you grow up in kindergarten? And while most of the kids said, doctor, firefighter, athlete, teacher, my summer proudly said, I want to be a princess, and I want to marry a prince and live in a castle. Well, my precious summer, my precious summer, Lynn, they say a dream is a wish your heart makes. And thanks to your amazing husband, who is loving, funny, athletic, and handsome to boot. (laughs) He has brought your dreams to life. I am honored, Nate, to call you my son. Thank you for loving my princess. Now go forward and live your life with love every day and in every way. 
I love you both dearly. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Ransom. Love, Mommy. That was beautiful. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, how far do I stand away from the mic before I rock the mic tonight? For the homeboys in gray over there, they want to hear a show, right? All right, first let me read what I wrote for Summer and Nate, all right? I like the comedy side. I don't like too much of the crying stuff, right? This ain't a waterproof vest, but it hurt me early. She got me good, all right? All right, let me start with my dear daughter, Summer. She was born an identical twin. I can't believe she got married. I used to wipe food off her chin. But here we are now witnessing two families unite. Because my daughter found a man who's intelligent and bright. He has an engineering degree, and he's a master at sports. And this function might be the only time I've never seen him wear shorts. Okay? These kids are tell them, they're tell them made for each other. These kids are tell them made for each other, kind of shy but ambitious. And I'm sure together with their strengths, they'll fulfill all their wishes. The rings they put on symbolize the circle of life from just being a couple to a husband and wife. Hang on, I'm a professional at this. <laughs> I could never imagine a better daughter or a better son-in-law than Nate, and I hope my other three daughters find a man just as great. <laughs> Sometimes life is hard, but you gotta be tougher. You'll hit a lot of bumps in the road, but never hit a muffler. And you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yo, my friend, do we want to throw on a beat now? Oh, they want me to rap now. You guys know I have hidden talents, right? This is for my homeboys in gray. This is for my homeboys in gray. They saw me busting raps and want me to do it today. So I said, okay, wait up, listen up. Dollar signs on my mind because my rhymes are gold. The lines are long. How many records are sold? One million, two million, three million, four. I bought a building with an office on the 25th floor. Bodyguards, credit cards. I got a three-story house with two big yards. That's where I kick back with my friends. I got an underground garage where I park my bins. Fun a lot of golding at the top of my list. But I got enough at home to make Jay-Z piss. Everywhere I go, people know my name. And to me, the lottery is only a game. Put my money in the bank is what my manager told me. But the Bank of America can't hold me. Do I have money is the question you're asking. If money was ice cold, I'd be Alaskan. Buy myself a 50-inch TV set. And my roof is a runway where I land my jet. I have a pool table and two wet bars. My wife has diamonds and we drive nice cars. I got a big boat, but it's not the fish it's a hundred foot yacht with a satellite dish i own the cops i don't pay fines i went to college and majored in dollar signs now real estate is really great because the thought of being poor is what i really hate they should have put my picture on the dollar George Washington was cool, but I'm a little bit taller. I have a lot of money, but who the hell counts? Not once in my life have I had a check bounce. And even if I did, my check will be bought. Cause my rep is good and my records sell hot. They sent me credit cards just to put me to the test. MasterCard, Visa, and American Express. Optima, Discover, and department stores. I got so much credit, man, it's filling up my drawers. You've heard of the sweepstakes and McBan. The Donald Trump Lotto and Weekly Grand. The billion dollar companies in Japan, having all that money is my master plan. See, being rich is the American dream. I'm eating fried chicken, hogging dos ice cream. I go on vacation seven days a week. I bought a palm tree in Hawaii just to take a leak. I'm rich. <laughs> Family and friends, one more time, let's all raise our glass to the newlyweds, wishing them love and laughter and happy ever after. Cheers, everyone. You can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. Family and friends, a tremendous amount of noise for Nate and his mother. Now, Summer would like to invite her dad on out to the dance floor to share a very special dance. Let's give them a nice round of applause as they make their way on out. Gotta hold on easy as I let you go. Go 
Gonna tell you how much I love you Though you think you already know I remember I thought you looked like an angel Wrapped in pink so soft and warm You've had me wrapped around your finger Since the day you were born You beautiful baby from the outside in Chasing dreams but always know the road That'll lead you home again Go on, take on this old world But to me you know you'll always be My little girl Right about now You're about to be possessed By the sounds of MC Raw Face and DJ is in like to invite all of their guests to join them out on the dance floor. Come on out to the dance floor. Join the newlyweds on the floor. Now it's my favorite time of the night. The photo booth's open, the bar's open. Now that dance floor is open. I choose ladies love me, girls adore me. I mean, even the ones who never saw me like the way that I rhyme at a show. The reason why, man, I don't know. So let's go, cause... So what? I don't care. I'm number one, the Uno. I like punk. Bring all the suckers, cause all of them I'll stomp. Won't neglect, but I will protect. All of my followers, cause all I want is respect. I'm not a doctor, but the man can't have a good time. Come on now.
I said if you didn't count, she wasn't going to throw it. Remember that? So, we're going to try that one more time. We need to hear you yell it. We want to hear you scream it. Let's hear it down the mountain. Here we go. Ready? One, two, two Just had this conversation. Louder! I didn't hear it. He didn't hear it. We gotta get louder. Let's get some help from the peanut gallery, family and friends. Help me out. Right here we go. One, two, three. Woo! Big throw. <laughs> And I'll be 